Howdy folks, Mark Wheeler here with Jackson Kayak, Orion Coolers, and the Low Sodium Show to give you an idea of what I carry at all times when I'm duck hunting. Uh, next to the shotgun, of course, and, and, and the kayak, I have my, my everyday bag. Um, this carries everything for me. Um, all my extras, uh, stuff like that. Um, I was putting it together and I thought, you know what, let me, uh, because the season's right around the corner. Let me go ahead and, and show you guys what I have. Um, so let's do that. Let's start on the outside. Um, it's my machete. Uh, bushwhacker, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is important, very important for me. Uh, this, is, this helps me you know, get blind material. Uh, cuts me away through the grass or through the brush to get to those, those ever important spots. So this always stays with me. And this bag, by the way, just sits right over top of my, or, or the, just straps right around the, the, the back of my, my seat. So it stays out of the way most of the time. Um, so let's get right to it. We'll start from the, from right here. Um, I carry a few things. Uh, super glue. Most guys laugh at me. They go, why do you carry super glue? Um, first things first, super glue. If I cut myself really bad or there's something happens that's really bad, you can always super glue it together. Um, that's one thing. Um, another one, later in the season, of course, hand warmers. I always keep them in here just in case. Uh, I get stuck out there at night, whatever. I've always got them. And uh, uh, alcohol swabs. Like I said, I'm just putting this together today uh, to get it ready for the season. I usually carry a bunch of these. Um, you know, you get cut, whatever. Helps to be able to get rid of it. Plus, you can take these swabs and get the um, face paint off your face or whatever you might have it. So that's that pouch in here. After mentioned face paint. It's not just for your face, y'all. It helps to <coughs> remove the glare from a lot of things, which is very, very important. Um, I carry a compact style, mainly because it's got a mirror. If I get in a situation, I make a phone call and I need them to find me, and they're setting a helo out, I just take this and I shine it up there, and they can see me. Usually, if I'm doing my face, whatever else, I have a tube of, of the grease. It helps a lot. And of course, Headache medicine. You always get out there with that one guy who knows, says, oh, I know how to call. And he's sitting there and all you hear coming out of him from the duck hall is <coughs> for six hours, you can get a headache. I got some headache medicine. All right, the pouch behind that, um, extra bungee cord. If I need to make a quick jerk line, it's right here. Um, extra chokes um, I like to switch up I always use a mid-range to start off and if I find out the birds are farther they're not coming in and committing I'll switch to a long range if they're committing really hard I'll switch to a short range helps to have um, a pair of deeks pliers or whatever you want to call them if I need to cut or create some more decoy line or do whatever. I've got that set. Um, my battery pack carries extra batteries because you always need batteries for flashlights, whatever, and gun oil. It's always good to keep your, your gun lubed and, and happy. Um, also that would fit in here are zip ties. Um, I don't have any uh, available there. I'm still using them, getting ready for everything else. Um, zip ties are great for concealing your blind and 101 other reasons. It's, zip ties are the duck hunter's duct tape. And that, and then I got another one for that too. Outside pouch. Easy access stuff. An extra beanie. Gloves. Um, ah. When you're gutting the, 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 the guys, a pair of extra rubber gloves are huge. Um, you got cuts in your hands all day. When you're digging into, into a body cavity, put on a pair of gloves. So that's that pocket. Um, I'll keep snacks in there too. Um, usually it's a, uh, like a Snickers bar or something like that. This next pouch, I didn't get these put in there yet. I, extra decoys. I put them on uh, a fishing line rig holder. Um, these are my extra longs. These are 12 foot long. For when I want to put some in some real deep water, I like to. Sometimes I like to put you know three or four deeks way off 
in, in the distance, especially if they're gonna come in like they're they're uh, 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 gonna uh, 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 paddle their way in. Is the best way to put it. To the, to there. Sometimes I need some long ones, so that's that. Um, I also carry inside of here in this back pouch extras. Okay. Um, granted, the outside of my bag holds all my detail lines. I don't know if you can see that. But um, anyone who's ever had this style, the, the no tangle free uh, style, um, knows that they get tangled, okay? Especially in these bags. So I just took a carabiner and run it through the holes. Now I've got it all set up. I just pull as I need. Um, so basically you just pull it out, grab your thing, hook it up and throw. Um, simple as that. So that's always there and that actually doesn't make much room. Um, always in my bag is, is several of these. Um, again, on a uh, on a lure rig spindle, my jerk, one of my jerks. Um, I'll run up to four jerks at a time. Cause I'm a, yeah, yeah not from the peanut gallery on that one. Uh, but uh, you know, simple, it's easy. Uh, motion is, is is the key to, to water fouling. Um, next thing I have, decoy line. This is actually braided decoy line. I got this from Bass Pro, it was like 10 bucks. It's 500 feet, it's a godsend. I mean, I'm telling you, so many uses. Um, set of knives. And of course, flashlight. You know, you can't, can never go wrong with that. Um, you know, I've always got my deco my, my my calls with me. You know, something simple. I've always got 550 cord in the boat. Something that never comes out. This is one of my extra spindles. Um, you can buy bulk line like this. I think there was 500 or 300 feet. Excuse me. Cost me like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, worth every penny. Um, another thing I always carry with me. A set of big clippers. I always carry a pair of scissors usually. Again, I'm trying, still trying to get ready. Um, you can see I got my beanie, nice and washed and clean. Got my uh, uh, blind all made. Check that out at jacksonkayak.com. Post a link in the comments. Um, you got my decoys all cleaned up and ready to rock and roll, or at least most of them for that matter. Um, and for those that have never seen this style, um, I'll make my, my rigs only about four feet, four and a half feet, almost five foot, I guess. We'll say five feet. It's pretty simple. Take your setup, and on one end, there's a clip, with a swivel, and a crimp. Go into a sliding weight of some sort to the end. Because theoretically, what's supposed to happen is you're supposed to clip, all the, uh, clip five or six of these together. I always get them uh, tangled up just how it works for me. But uh, I pull it off wherever I've got them. Um, either clip to my, clip to myself, whatever, clip it right in the front, put, put it on there. And then what I do is I lay the, the weight like that. I grab it here and I grab it there, okay? So I've got a loop and I just take it and throw it. Um, and the weight stays near the body until it hits the water, then the weight slides all the way down. It's a fish finder rig. Savvy? Um, but that's how I, I throw them out. Um, it's easy for me. And then when I'm pulling in, a lot of times, I'll just pull them right up, stick them inside the kayak, and all you see is a weight in, in the deck well. With the line. I can stick up to two dozen plus uh, uh, mallards in my boat. Um, that's why I love the Jackson boats. Uh, you know, I, that's pretty much it. You know, I, I keep everything pretty simple. Um, can't think of anything else. You know, just one of those things, this is the basic stuff I carry. I always carry water um, inside of my kayak. I, I'll, before the season even starts, I'll take, uh, uh, or every, before every trip, I take a gallon of water and I stuff it inside the, you know, the belly of my kayak. 
Um, it's just my reserve water, just in case. And then I'll throw three or four bottles in another bag or, or in the tank well. Um, you know, food, stuff like that. Um, it's entirely up to you. Again, this is what I do. This is my bag. Um, and let me show you everything put together. Um, these guys. Put it around my neck. The boonie goes on. All right. 550 cord in the bot in the the boat. In the back here, braided cord. Remember, it goes right inside. Flashlights inside. Knives inside. Extra decoy line is inside. Again, yeah, more decoy stuff goes inside my jerk rig goes inside yeah I got everything yep it goes inside there plus whatever else I can fit and that gets sealed up sealed up and again this stuff I put in here is stuff I need to reach quickly so my gloves my beanie couple snack bars, stuff like that. And then in here, a pair of pliers, extra chokes, extra bungee, batteries, and uh, some uh, gun lube. Um, again, this is what I do. It just keeps everything real organized for me. War paint or face paint um, for face and, and shiny areas. Uh, headache meds or, or just pain meds in general. Uh, super glue, hand warmers, alcohol wipes, and of course rubber gloves in here as well. That's basically it. Um, that's my basic loadout. And of course the shotgun, and shot shells, and everything else. Um, I got actually got a, a box that I carry all my shot shells in, nice and dry. And then you know it just rest is just space for decoys. And uh, I get out there and and I shoot them up. Uh, gotta love the hair, right? All jacked up. Um, but that's it for me. One thing. Never, ever, ever, ever go out in your kayak without a PFD on. Always wear your PFD. They make them now with a mesh or even some now that, you know, that are very minimal in the shoulder. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, another quick tip. Go with a shortened lanyard. There's enough that to get around your head. Okay, you're sitting down. Having one of these, some of these that hang down way low, get in the way of paddling. So having something nice and tight to your body helps with that. Um, throw a few lighters in your bag, okay, in case you get stuck again. Um, that's basically it, man. I mean, nothing really, really crazy. I mean, you see, I've got zip ties everywhere. Um, so that's how I, 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 I set up my kayak. Uh, set up my bag. I'm going to do another video in a, in a few days on how to set up my kayak for, for duck hunting. Um, but besides that, check out jacksonkayak.com or ryancoolers.com for more information on hunting, whitewater, touring, fishing. Um, I probably said that twice already. Uh, for all your, your, your outdoor needs, man, in the water kayak world. Um, that's basically it. So with that being said, go out and check Jackson Kayak, Orion Coolers, and the Low Sodium Show on the Kayak Fishing Radio Network. I'm Mark Wheeler. Until next time, tight lines and full skies. Later, everybody.